have it, our garden on a roll herb box, which was new last year and it's going really well, we love it. So the idea is you can choose uh, one of three different herb selections, whichever suits your cooking tastes or what you like to sniff and play with. Now, you get five plants, they're one litre, so they're all re really well grown. They're big enough that you can actually start pinching things off straight away, like this mint, and put it in your pims, or the rosemary there. Now you get the five plants, a lovely zinc trough with drainage holes, potting compost, gravel, a little mini roll, a pair of gloves, a DVD, and some other bits and pieces, just as it, uh, to make it a really nice gift, actually for somebody's maybe moved into a new home. And once you get all this lovely stuff, this is how you do it. So you put the gravel in, turn it around, spread that out. Then the magic trick is our mini garden on a roll border. Is dip it in water. Spread that over the gravel. That's impregnated with comfrey organic feed. So as the roots grow through, they can feed into this. This will biodegrade and also the moisture in the paper will give it a bit of irrigation as well. Then you've got your lovely compost. Tip that over the paper, which is over the gravel, which is for drainage. Don't fill it up completely. Um, get the paper covered. Now the roots of the plants will go down and find the paper which starts to biodegrade pretty quickly in about a week or so and that will feed the plants later on uh, as they develop. So just fill it up about halfway, prod it a little bit to get the air bubbles out and then we're ready. Now you can arrange these any way you like really. I would always go taller one in the middle. Now a bay tree, obviously, left on its own, will grow 50 foot high. But in a little trough like this, it's perfect. It can grow in there for a year. Uh, you can use it in the kitchen. And when it's too big, plant it in the garden or in one of our troughs to let it get bigger. So I'm gonna have the bay in the middle, sage, Great for making your own tea. Really good for you. And it looks nice too. Sage, I'm going to put around the edge. Don't have to worry too much. Uh, we're just packing them in basically. The rosemary, I'm going to put the other end. I've got a lovely thyme. Oh, have a sniff of that. Beautiful. I love thyme. Beautiful flowers, the bees like it butterflies. Looks great, good for the kitchen. Finally, the bully boy of the herb world, the mint, which obviously we all know goes mad. Uh, this spearmint will take over a massive area in the garden, so it's always better to keep it contained in a trough. We know it's too big for this long term, it doesn't matter, we're going to leave it in there for a few months, then we can plant it somewhere else, but it's so useful. As long as you keep using it, it's a lovely thing, lovely fresh smell. That's going to go in there, We've packed five herbs in there. We know it's a bit tight, but it doesn't matter. It will stop them growing too quick. And they're all just gonna get along fine in there. And then you just fill in around the outside of the roots. Keep the roots uh, just underneath the surface of the trough. Uh, if you have them too high, they're gonna dry out a little bit too quickly. There you go. Not too much skill needed for this. You don't mind getting your hands dirty. Fill it around. As you're filling, just make sure there's no air gaps. So prod lightly around it, not too firm. Give it a little, give it a little tap like that. Almost done. Now the thing is, when you're growing herbs in a small container like this, they're really easy to grow. It's hard to kill them unless they dry out. So if you're going away on holiday for a week or two, get somebody to water them. If you can't do that, place the trough in the shade of the garden where it doesn't get any sun. Even put the tray on a, a bigger saucer of water so it can absorb water. And obviously, 
apart from being too dry, another bad thing, which may be even worse for her, is if they're too wet. So certainly in the winter, if you're using a tray underneath, make sure the tray is emptied of water so that the plants don't stand in water for any length of time. What do you think of that? Beautiful. I really like that. And it really does make a fantastic gift for somebody who's perhaps never done any gardening before. Because once you have success with this, I'll encourage them to grow more plants and get into gardening, which is no bad thing. You get a lovely bag as well, by the way. Almost forgot the most important thing, always water them straight away. Not just a little water, a proper soak, so that the water runs through the drainage holes at the bottom. And really a trough like this, if it was outside in a fairly sunny place, you've got to be watering twice a day to make it work. In the middle of summer. Loads of water. As I say, the good test is to see if it's coming out the bottom. Nothing yet, keep going. Still nothing. It's getting heavier though. Oh yes. <laughs> there you go. Make sure that happens every day. And you can see it's gone down a little bit, just top up with a bit of compost. And they're ready to go.